<laughs> Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. We truck camp and whatnot and fish and explore the outdoors. And today we are sitting at Cabello's slash Bass Pro in the parking lot. I'm still traveling around Maine with my trailer. It has been a pain in the butt, but I just disconnected the trailer from the truck, which is makes my life a lot easier for sure. It makes me be able to, uh, you know, like, it makes me able to pull my draws out all the way, which is really, really fantastic and convenient. But yeah, today we're at Cabela's. I'm really excited. Cabela's and Bass Pro, if you didn't know, it's the same exact thing. They're owned by the same company now, but a lot of their stores will either just say Bass Pro or just Cabela's. I don't know why they do it, but it's the same company. We're gonna go inside because A, we need dinner and they have dinner in there. We are not doing a crazy recipe cooking and all these ingredients. We are doing um, an MRE, not like an authentic military meal necessarily. They don't sell those here, but it's pretty dang close. They're more so like camping in the mountains type of thing, like dehydrated meals and you have to rehydrate them. It's really cool. And I've only done one on the channel before and I know that there's so many ones I wanna try. So we're gonna at least crank out two. I'm gonna grab two so we can try them. That'd be really fun. And that's gonna be our dinner. We gotta get dinner, some snacks and shop around because I've been penny pinching a lot and saving a lot of money and um, I feel like we're about to go have some fun. So let's go inside of the store. Fettuccine Alfredo, chicken fried rice, beef stroganoff with noodles. Lasagna with meat sauce, chili mac, classic spaghetti with meat sauce. I kinda, I kinda wanna try this one. They're not, definitely not cheap. Everything that's camping is so expensive. It's like they jack up the prices. A normal fork is like three bucks and then put the word like camping on it and it's like 12 bucks. Make it make sense. I definitely need one of these. Yellow curry. All right, these are two. Satisfied. I shouldn't, but I'm going to the fishing section. They still have ice fishing stuff out. Ice fishing ended like two months ago. Wow, yeah, they still have a bunch of ice fishing stuff out. That is crazy. People probably still buy them. This is like one of my favorite ways to pan fish is with a nice jig. Guggen baits. So beautiful. There's honestly not a lot at this store. Just kind of comparing it to like other Bass Pros. Ooh, my favorite part. Hold on, hold on. Spoke too soon. Brookie. Brook trout. <laughs> She's coming up right to the camera. Brown trout. What's up, bud? Another brown. We got a rainbow right there. Oh, what's up? <laughs> Brook trout are just insanely beautiful. Look at that. I was definitely giving up hope that they didn't have a tank here. And that was going to really, you know, cease my opinion on this place. But now that I know that there is a tank here, pretty good. But not the best. I still think the Bass Pro near my house, like in Massachusetts, is so much better than this one. It's crazy. I don't know. Maybe I'm just biased. Y'all see this moose right here? That is not an exaggeration on the size. I don't know if it looks big to you guys, but that thing is massive. I saw my first moose ever this trip and now I've seen like a thousand moose. To be fair, I saw like 50 in the same night, but moose, they're huge. What's making me like feel really comfortable about sleeping in my truck here is there's a camper right there. I don't know if you can see them. 
and another one way in the distance. So there's two other people camping here tonight with me, which is so cool. Show and tell time. Spaghetti with meat sauce. Yellow curry. I used to have three letters in my truck and all three of them are currently broken and I need one uh, in order to light the propane stove, so necessity. I just really love peach rings and like the Bass Pro Uncle Bucks or whatever, yeah, Uncle Bucks candy is really good and cheap. I love peach rings, I'm sorry. One, two, Bass Pro, Bass Pro, this is how you fit in when you're self camping. Yeah, all right, let's get cooking on some dinner. I'm gonna cook them both tonight, like you said. Drop your comments down below, which one do you think is gonna taste better? I'm scared to put my vote in. I love curry. Like curry is the love of my life, but so is pasta. Pasta is like my weakness in life. Like I could survive off pasta for the rest of my life. I feel like this one might shock us though. I don't know, drop your, drop your comments below. I um, I'm not really sure. Is that better? Curry. Get a peek in there. It it really does smell like curry. I'll be honest, it smells like curry, which is really freaky. Wow. What? Shut up. I need to cleanse my palate and try that one more time. There's no way. Okay. Wow. If you like curry, like I do, I went to Portland, like downtown Portland yesterday, just to buy curry. I went to some Thai restaurant and it was amazing. I love Thai food. Now, the only complaint I have with this is there's way too many, um, what is that? Peas? These are peas, aren't they? Green peas. There's just too many of them. I'm trying to avoid it, but every single bite I'm getting at least three. That's how many there are in here. This is just as good as the one that I paid for at the restaurant for 13 bucks, which is scary. One thing I like about curry is when it comes with thick sauce besides of like liquidy sauce. And I wish this was just a little bit thicker, but 
it could probably happen if you put more water maybe i'm not sure would we would have to experiment but this is phenomenal i'm gonna give it <clears throat> well it just made me choke so zero out of ten <clears throat> like an 8.5 an 8.5 out of 10 seriously now i don't know if i got it on gopro but I was stirring it with the knife and I popped a hole in our, our spaghetti bag. So I didn't have anything else to stir it with. I didn't want to use my only spoon. So there was that. So we're going to have to take it out and put it into our bowl. <laughs> okay. Look, green pea. Just chilling on my spoon from the curry. There's so many different types of curry yellow curry is the best especially when it comes with pineapple anyways let's try our spaghetti ah. okay spaghetti what okay there's no way that they're all good i must have just picked two good ones i don't know this is so good This is the best dinner ever. Now, this is expensive pasta. You could probably make this for five bucks with all the ingredients, the meat. Actually, no, you can just, you don't have to buy like real meat. You can just get meat sauce for like three bucks and then pasta for like 99 cents. So this one's overpriced. I don't know if I would buy it again, but flavor wise, I forgot what I gave the curry. What did I give the curry? like an 8.5 or something i don't remember this is also an 8.5 it would be honestly 10 out of 10 but they upcharge a little bit too much for this one since it's so simple the curry i can kind of understand why it would be uh 10 bucks or 11 bucks but they're all priced the same all these meals i don't know they're both unreal though seriously i would recommend both of these Hi like highly recommend them i can't wait till i get to the point where i can cook meals as good as this honestly that's how good it is both of these it's phenomenal <sighs> well <clears throat> the name of this company is mountain house adventure meals definitely go check them out like if you go to bass pro or cabela's or wherever else they sell them probably online i'm not sponsored or endorsed they don't even know who the heck i am and i don't even know who the heck they are until just now um unreal seriously wow like so good are you kidding i'm so happy that this worked out because there's no plan b i'm not leaving fast pro to go get dinner or groceries to make dinner it wasn't happening so it was this or nothing yay hey next really important step is to well put the curtains up another camper pulled up so now there's including me four people camping here tonight like that's so cool i love the camping community you guys are adorable we are adorable okay i'm putting the curtains up ready set curtain time Okay, all the curtains are up. I'm gonna shut the light off above me. Ready, watch this. Hang on, hang on. Keep hanging, keep hanging. Ta-da. That's so cute, come on. That is the coolest. I feel like it's probably really dark, but that's really cool. It looks so like snuggly and cozy in here now. This pillow. This is actually from Bass Pro. I sleep with this one every night. That I sleep in my truck at least. Which is most nights. 907. This has been like my lord and savior. I feel like so many people take melatonin like every single night. My brother takes melatonin every single night. I take melatonin almost every night. Pretty much every night. <laughs> but is it like a placebo? placebo effect i think or pupsido 
You know what I'm talking about? Is it one of those like effects or does it actually work? Cause I was talking to someone about this and like melatonin's like, your brain naturally produces melatonin, but taking melatonin medicine or gummies or whatever it is, just produces more melatonin that's a natural occurring thing in your body and just helps you produce more of it to help you sleep so it's actually like not bad for you but then i hear people say that melatonin doesn't actually work and it's all in your head but there's definitely been times that this sucker has worked i don't know i don't know i don't know put a blanket up i've been doing that a lot lately so like there's no possible way someone can see in here window i mean not window sorry curtain makeshift curtain blanket curtain and then no one can really see behind me because i usually like have the pillow stacked up but yeah for some weird reason my nose is extra stuffy right now but i'm gonna hit the hay definitely getting tired it is time check it is 9.43, and I'm pretty exhausted. Sleeping in my Fly Bass Pro shirt, outside of Bass Pro. Life is good. I'll catch you guys in the morning. I'm gonna sleep good. And that's it, that's all I got. All right. Good night. So many more campers showed up. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then us being seven. That's crazy. Uh, why is it so cold this morning? Why am I so cold? Ah. Maple and brown sugar. Oatmeal. Oh wow. That's incredible. Sorry I look homeless this morning, but I did not think it was going to be this cold. That was like the perfect breakfast. Not too much, simple. It was warm and I'm freezing. And it's it's brown maple and brown sugar. You can't go wrong, you know? 
well this is the most you guys have seen me look so rough in the morning but what are you gonna do it's just one of those mornings i'm still sick which is frustrating and now but like i felt like i woke up feeling okay this morning or like better than the last couple of days and now i have a cough which is like ugh. i thought i was doing good but now i have a cough which is just hurts your throat it's not fun i don't recommend it don't get a cough hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode i had a lot of fun <coughs> i'm literally looking at this sign that says no overnight parking oh well we're gonna go on an adventure and then maybe head more south today so i don't know i'm gonna crank the heat I don't think it's actually that cold. I think it's just because I'm sick. <laughs> that is making me feel colder. What is wrong with my voice right now? Okay, I'm going to end today's video here. I'm losing my voice. I love you guys. I appreciate it. If you made it this far, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And that's really all I got. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll catch you beautiful people next time.